guys, Jen Pike here from Simplicity Yoga and Fitness Therapy Studios and the Simplicity Project. I've just finished teaching Simplicity Strong Flow, one of our signature classes at the studio, and uh, I'm getting ready to do my own little workout here at home, but I wanted to make sure I had the time to send you off the second of my little series of blog videos to you to help you along these 12 easy steps to make sure that you are feeling incredible throughout the holiday season. So yesterday I talked to you about getting to bed at a decent time and creating a gratitude moment first thing. Today I'm talking to you about hydrating and also making sure that you eat within a about an hour of waking. So first tip, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. This is massive on so many levels. My goal for clients is to get a minimum of two to three of these guys in a day. So this is a one liter glass mason jar. I love these. You can go and buy stainless steel water bottles, um, which are great for little people, glass and small children, uh, and possibly clumsy individuals are not a good combination. Um, but uh, I love these and it's about a dollar a jar and I use them to store food and water and, uh, and smoothies and so on. So when I wake up in the morning, what I do, a little trick for myself I have done for many years, is I keep a glass of water next to my bed. And literally I wake up, I do my moment of gratitude, and then I sit up at the side of the bed and I drink the entire glass of water before I even get up to go to the washroom or do whatever it is that I'm about to do. Um, and that is huge because right there I know I'm getting at least 8 to 10 ounces of fluid into my body, which is going to help to flush out any of the toxins that my system has worked really hard overnight to make sure that it is getting rid of and it also is going to help to start to keep you hydrated right from the get-go so some different things that you can do throughout the day to keep your body hydrated first thing is keep the water near you okay out of sight out of mind so whether it's at your workstation at your desk or you have it in the car with you make sure that the water is visible you can do some simple things like adding in some frozen organic berries to brighten it up and to add a bit of flavor I love adding fresh lemon juice or lime juice into mine even small packets of powdered vitamin C but make the goal for yourself a minimum of two to three liters of water every day I know it sounds like a lot, but your skin is going to love you, your bowels are going to function more optimally, your digestive fire is going to increase, therefore your metabolic system is going to have more ability to do the work that it needs to do. You're going to feel mentally clear, fatigue is not going to step in as often. You're going to get more from your workouts as well when your body and your cells are hydrated. Now, if you can sit down and take a look at, get rid of the pop, get rid of the juice, get rid of all the lattes, the coffees, the tea, you're probably drinking the equivalent to two to three liters of fluid in a day as it is, just not pure awesome water. So get your H2O in. My second tip for you is eating within about an hour of waking up in the morning. So typically for me, I get up in the morning, I do my moment of gratitude, I drink my water, I start to get myself ready, then these small people, Emerson and Sam, come in and uh, life starts to take on a certain level of craziness. So I get them downstairs and give them a snack, which for them is usually fruit first thing in the morning. I get into their system, um, something easy to digest and break down, and then I'll give them something a little bit more complex about 20, 30 minutes after that. For myself, I come down, I do my warm water and my lemon juice or a little bit of dandy blend, um, which is incredibly therapeutic and cleansing for your liver and your kidneys. And then about 45 to 60 minutes later, I make myself a stellar smoothie. So nutritionist around... I'm pretty sure that it is like some level of stepping into the sorority of being a nutritionist that when you go on TV, the first thing that you have to create and make is a smoothie because it's easy and it's a catch-all. We can get so many things into this incredible basin of life for you. Again, you store it into your mason jars, either a 500 mil um, or a 1,000 mil, also known as a half a liter or a full liter. And uh, some great things to put in your smoothie, start with a base. So it could be water, could be fresh cashew milk or almond milk. You could do some rice milk in there. Just watch though, because it definitely has a higher level of sugar. Um, and then adding in heaping amounts of greens. So for me, my Vitamix is full to the brim of greens now. For protein, I'll either add in my favorite Genuine Health Vegans Plus protein powder, or I add in hemp seeds or chia or flax or cashews, almonds, walnuts, whatever it is that I've got around. Then I'll add in fresh fruit. Um, usually it'll be banana. Sometimes I'll add in avocado, and then I will do a little bit of frozen fruit because warm smoothies are gross. So just don't even go there with that. Make sure that you've got lots of ice in there or some frozen fruit. Put some healthy oil in, hemp or flax, coconut, um, or the O3 Mega Oil that you can get from Genuine Health. 
put it all in there, pulse it all up. Incredible, and it is portable. You could make this at night before if you had to, but you get it in your glass, you get into the car, and you're done. Remember this when it comes to your metabolism. Your metabolic system and your digestive system, they don't start to work until you give them a job. They are task-oriented systems in your body. So if you want to start to rev up your metabolism, if you want to start to shed some pounds, you need to eat within that hour of waking. It's also going to help to keep your blood sugar stable. It's going to help to balance out and keep your adrenal super nourished. We're going to keep our thyroid in check if we do that. You are going to be happy and not grumpy, so you're going to have more friends and people are going to like spending time with you. So those are my two tips for today, guys. Today is December the 17th. Christmas is coming up soon. Do your best to stay stay your healthiest, to stay your most vital and your most vibrant. I will be back here tomorrow with you giving you another two tips. Have a wicked day. Namaste.